Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Okay, uh, this is something that Western women need to talk about, but also it's a big reason why a lot of expats go to the Philippines. Equality. Equality in the West has become a joke. Um, public relations and everything else, we have, uh, what do they call it? The Paralympics, everything is like everyone is equal. Reality is, it doesn't make any sense. Um, from a man's point of view, the Western world has consistently tried to strip rights away. And I say rights because equality is about empowering women at the same time, um, pushing down man. And the reason I say that is you'll see a lot more things like uh, investment in things like breast cancer compared to prostate cancer. Um, you'll see that people complain that there's not enough CEO women in the world in big corporations, but they will not f factor in women have children. Women decide to go part time. Women decide that they want a family life and move away. The guys will carry the burden. They will not factor in that um, family friendly hours are predominantly for women. Um, there was actually in the UK a case where female police officers sued a police uh, authority for money because they didn't get the uh, the money for the night shift allowance and unsociable hours. There's a reason for that. They worked family friendly hours where the guys work nights, weekends, and all the horrible stuff. Um, the reality is they got the money because we're so equality orientated, yet they didn't deserve it. Um, there was nothing stopping them working the same hours as the guys. They just thought they were entitled to it, yet the allowance was actually for the people that actually worked those hours. Um, so that just just on these things is a perfect reason of what's wrong with the world um, the Western world um, you can go into it in a much deeper context um, but the reality is a lot of guys are just tired of it I know I am um, I'm for equality equality is if you want to be um, uh, doing exactly what I do then don't whine about it because you're a woman. Um, you have to carry the same weight, the same burden, the same times, everything. That is equality. Because I work harder, longer hours than anybody else and can carry more and do more in a day, that is irrelevant. Because equality means doing exactly the same. And this is why a lot of guys are just saying, you can keep it in the West. I am tired of it. It is nonsense because equality is nonsense. Um, if anything, a lot of people have been killed uh, in wars and everything else because too much dithering goes on. I'm not saying women are responsible for it, but I think a lot more dithering goes on because of um, society has become so disconnected from reality in being politically correct, being uh, equal for disabled rights, religion, um, race, whatever. It, it doesn't make sense. The, the thing that nobody really discusses is, is the fact that the integration of so many communities in the UK has failed. Failure is not a social thing that those that deal with social aspects talk about. 
failure is not allowed. How do I know? I worked with social groups, uh, social housing, local authorities, governments, blah, blah, blah. They don't admit failure. Failure is not in the vocabulary. So if there's no problem because nobody will admit there's a problem, where's the solution? The answer is, like me, a lot of guys move to the East. Um, I have to admit, my whole aspect before I met my wife was to just cut it dead. I would just make as much money as possible, uh, stay single, enjoy life, and never have a partner live in my house again. Um, I would remove the whole problem, which is that people are given rights to your assets when the fact is they have nothing to give uh, financially. Relationship-wise, not a problem. I'm not... Uh, well, okay, we'll get into that as well. Um, because when these cases go to court, it's always like, you have a right to, you have a right to, which then drives the whole problem even deeper. Where the fact is, there's no context taken into account. The first thing you get is the woman predominantly gets rights to the children. The uh, guy predominantly gets all the bills to pay for the children and everything else and access is decided between the courts and the ex. Why is that going on? That's not equality. The guy is often the main breadwinner, yet he's being persecuted just for being male. Um, but there's no sexism when it comes to males. Philippines, sexism really isn't even discussed. I mean, Filipino, Filipino women don't even see the problem. They, you know, they're very traditionalist. Uh, they want marriage, children, man being the provider. What's wrong with it? It's been right for over a thousand years. Me, I'm very traditional. I look after my wife, I look after my kids, I financially make secure uh, everybody that is my role as a husband my wife's role take care of the children and looking after myself why is it so bad my wife doesn't have to get up early in the morning and work late at night well she does because she's got two young kids but um, a lot of the problems financially are the burden of myself my wife is the responsible person of taking care of the family in the household. Why do you see that most people that have these two types of traditional marriages function better? Why are they financially normally doing better than most people? Because there's no infighting. They're not conflicting with each other. They're not fighting over m minor issues. But society says that equality exists. But equality doesn't exist. Equality is fake in the way that the Western world sees it. A woman in the West assumes she has a right to the guy's assets as well as her own, because she wants to keep hers. You don't got no right to that, but she also wants yours. A guy, myself, I'm the like this, I enter a relationship, full hearted it, and basically the assets are irrelevant to me. You know, um, when I left my ex before, I left everything. I just basically took a bag of stuff and left. You know, for me, I can build from scratch, no problem. Was it right or wrong? Well, the answer is from a right perspective is that I left everything um, because I, had, I have a daughter. Is it wrong from somebody that may have relied on that income and their assets? Uh, yes, for them it is, because it cripples them. Um, I know several people in the Philippines that wouldn't have been able to function in their home countries because equality meant that their ex crippled them financially um, with the terms even used uh, by their exes as I have more power than God over you. Um, so from that aspect, that's not equality.
Equality is people that see each other at the same level, function at the same level, and do not adjust things to suit themselves. Um, and that's why there's so many expats in the Philippines that disconnected themselves from West. Uh, Western society has some benefits, but equality is not one of them because it's not real. Um, it's why there's so many problems in the world with things like the Middle East with ISIS and everything else because people want equality at the same time. It wasn't long ago the UK was talking about like five, five uh, women going to be ISIS brides or whatever and the reality is there could be thousands of Western people holding British passports, um, European passports. Are they British or European? Um, I would actually say they were neither. Um, as such, I do not like the media term when they say these British people, blah, 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 because they're not British. They were never British in the first place. They're ex Qatari, they're ex Middle East in some form. They were asylum seekers, etc. They were never British. They wouldn't accept being British themselves. So why should I, as a British citizen, accept them um, because <laughs> they're there uh, killing and murdering um, people within their own religion but different sex you know the old sunnies and uh, sunnies muslims whatever they're killing each other and at the same time the uk is trying to bring them back oh they're so young or they're brainwashed from a younger age. So they're gone. There's no point recovering them. You don't want them back. They're they're very likely to cause uh, uh, cause terrorism within the UK. I know it's a little bit off topic this video, but it all goes back to equality. And in the Philippines, women want to be women. They don't want to be guys. They don't want to be competing you competing with a guy on a sport. Um, or business, whatever, They're, they want to be women. Um, I have no issue with it. I'm not stopping a woman being successful at what she wants to do in her life. Um, but I think the West has forgotten what it means to be a family in many ways. Uh, if you look at the CEO of Google, um, there was actually a report about that person bringing their own child into work with a playpen in her office. That is not a family unit. Um, I'm trying not to swear, but if she wanted kids, she should take the responsibility as a mother. And that is not doing it. Um, in the same way, I have no problem with women in the workplace. Um, but at the same time, if you want to be equal, then be equal. Don't turn around and say, but I am having this or doing that. It's, it just messes everything up. And it's the reason a lot of guys in the Philippines, they're just like tired with all that. Divorce, woman's got the house, the car, the kids, da da da, mm -hmm. left you with a suitcase. Okay, fine. They walk away. And then their exes are complaining that they have a beautiful wife, a beautiful life in the Philippines. Um, what did they want? They've got everything. They've, they've ripped you off for everything you've earned in your entire life. Um, and I want to point out here, my ex didn't. Uh, she did uh, keep a few of the assets, but it, it was nothing. Um, the recovery period for me was literally months. Uh, two or three months, I was financially well off. <laughs> uh, the reality is, Financially, I do well. Um, I don't really want to get into my own personal relationships on Fur and my ex, but the fact is that she didn't take too much from me. She got everything in the house, etc. I had literally walked away from that because I looked at it, the fact is, I've got a daughter. Um, if the lawyers got involved, they um, would just go for the cash. If you go for a government help in these mediation things in the UK, they have these like um, systems, which is basically built on 
go for the guy's wallet. They're not interested in you gaining access for you for the children. They're not interested in any other aspect except taking control of your finances to fund your ex or your ex and children, whatever way you want to look at it. So that is the equality equation. Philippines, women have less rights than guys, a lot of people say, but I would actually say um, from guys that have gone south with upsetting their wives, they probably got a lot less than their partner because the difference with the partner is they know how to run the system. Um, they've also got the family, the connections, the, you know, they have that already. The difference is they're not looking to utilize it uh, where in the West it's often in the back of the mind, unfortunately. Um, it's more of a male dominated, dominated society in the Philippines. But for me, it's all about how you use it. I mean, me, I treat everyone as equal. But like I was saying, there's a difference between treating everybody equal and people abusing it, which is what's going on in the West. I mean, it's like the power, like I said, the Paralympic stuff. I don't understand it. And um, I just don't. I, I, just, I can't even justify it in any way because it, it just doesn't make any sense why uh, you would drum somebody up as some major athlete when, okay, they've got disabilities, um, but they're not like supersonic or something in comparison to um, somebody who's more athletic, you know. Um, I don't get it. And you can say it as you like, but at the same time, it is not equal because quite simply, they cannot compete at the same level. So it just doesn't make sense. Um, so yeah, the Philippines is like going back in 50 years and 50 years in the past. You don't have any of these hang-ups on um, who you are. Uh, if you're overweight or something, the Philippine people generally do not care because at the end of the day, it's not hard to find a partner. And at the same time, if you can afford to feed yourself, what's wrong with it? At the same time, if you are got your own pension and self-funding, etc., what's wrong with it? People respect you for being you. And that's, this is why equality I put on the shelf because equality means nothing. What matters is you as a person. And this is why I don't get this whole equality because they drum it up. They drum it up in the wrong way. Um, I can understand somebody like, a, okay, you know, well done for what, achieving what you can in life, but you cannot put somebody on the same pedestal as an Olympiad when they were not at the same level. You can't just keep bringing the standards down just so you can lift somebody up. You just say, I'm proud of what you achieved, but you know, <laughs> okay. Now you can see it's someday it's irritating me, so I'll just cut it off for that. But yeah, equality in the Philippines, people are just face value, you know, People are people. They don't have all this nonsense that's hung up in the West.